Right, we are back. DPL 1146 reaction video to Manchester United and the disgrace that we have seen. Where, where, where do we start? 4 0 defeat at Chelsea. It's shocking, it's unbelievable, it's a joke and an absolute festival of rubbish. 4 0 defeat, absolutely unbelievable. I cannot see how this situation is possibly recoverable this season. Or going forward for the football club. Um, four 0 We've got um, over the last few years. You've got Sir Alex Ferguson retiring. Retiring. You've got the Glazers who didn't spend a penny on the team for seven years, and now we are really, really seeing the results of that. We spent three hundred million pounds largely on absolute garbage, absolute bilge, absolute nonsense, absolutely shocking. Oh, I'm, I'm lost for words. I, I can't even speak. I'm getting absolutely parred off here. Getting absolutely bantered. It's a complete and utter farce. Sorted out, lads. And then come on. First off, we'll just um, focus on Chelsea. You're 4 0 up against a bitter hated rival. Um, looking at maybe the picture of the season and sinking us. You're 4 0 up at home. You're being out some. You, you, your home support's an embarrassment, lads. Come on. You're a bunch of piss takers. Um, you're useless. Um, sat there in complete and utter silence. You've got 3,000. Travelling fans just mugging you off. It's embarrassing, really. You're a joke. Um, not as much as a joke of, or not as much of a joke as we are, unfortunately. Shite team. You've got three years um, of absolute mediocrity. You've got good players coming to the club. Players like Di Maria, Falcao, who may or may not have been finished. But then you've got Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who was a goal machine. Turns up at Old Trafford. He's much used as a garden shed. Obviously, you've got Paul Pogba, who used to be a Rolls Royce of a player, now he's a wheelie bin. Um, it's absolutely shocking. You could argue we're one of the favourites at the start of the season. It's just gone completely to hell. It's a joke. The players aren't good enough. It's got to the point where it doesn't really matter who's in the dugout. It's just that bad. We've spent 300 million on absolute shite. Now, let me just address that. Several people saying, oh, you're, you spent 300 million. Well, you're a joke, you should be doing better than this. Yes, but you need to spend £300 million on good players, not the absolute shysters that we see out there. Frauds, um, frauds, failures, not good enough. There are a few people that are good enough. I'd say Pogba is good enough. A lot of people criticise Pogba. It's people's first port of call, really, when discussing us. But um, you stick him in any, any other top team, City, Arsenal... Chelsea and he will rip the league to shreds. He's playing in a useless team for a club that is in absolute ruins and that's self-inflicted. Sir Alex Ferguson, you've got him sitting there in the stands every game, haunting the club, looking down. You you are you're equally as culpable in this. You built a midfield of Anderson and Cleverley and won the league through your own powers. Brought Robin Van Persie and dug you out of trouble a bit after um, Mad City had uh, raised their game a bit. So not good enough. 2005, Glazer take over. Nanny, Anderson, Owen Hargreaves, Shinji Kagawa. It's about it, really, you know, for players that came in. Hardly anything. Of those that were a success from the Glazer takeover, you'd argue Van Persie and Chicharito um, have been any good out of any of the players that came in since they took over. Um, um, Fellaini as well. I mean, come on, do us a favour. What an absolute bell end. He's, he's, he can go on a Bosman transfer in January, go for free, and I'm counting the other days. Clear off, get out of my football club, you scrote. Jokers, oh, I'm so angry, I'm so angry, so angry at this. I'm so pissed off, I don't know what to do. I'll break something. Oh, no. Words cannot be said how annoying this is and how shite we are. It's, oh, it's. Do myself in. God, disavow football or something. End my career as a football fan. Football affects people's moods. It's so cross, so cross. Cannot even begin to describe how pissed off I am with this situation. Totally self inflicted. They deserve everything they get, really, at this moment in time. And we're sliding towards, you know, mid table. And from then on, you're sliding towards the relegation zone. I mean, we're, what, three or four points above the relegation zone at the moment. 
it's just not good enough. Closer to the relegation zone than the top four. Only hope we've got is winning the Europa League. Are we going to take that seriously? Are we as good as the Champions League dropouts that come in after Christmas? It's shocking, really. But nothing really to say on that other than DPL 1146 returns. The resurgence continues, as we've seen over the last couple of days. We have the failed FIFA um, corruption video. Um, I still believe the game is corrupt. I replayed that also, say, five times before I made that video. And we have the Glen Whelan goal in the second minute. Stoke win the game soon, and you get the training ground in injury as well. None of it seems to have happened that time, but it, it's corrupt. It's all bent. You know, it's all just fixed. The whole thing is rigged. Um, next, we want to hear your views on a new video series, maybe. Possibly Minecraft Hardcore. Get back into that with these dark winter evenings. Not much to do. Um, going around so yes thank you very much nice one goodbye